Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty! For today's DIY project, we'll be creating two high-end DIYs inspired from items I found while shopping online. Now these home decor items both have a modern farmhouse feel and can be customized to fit in any home decor. Now for your convenience, I've provided the list of supplies and tools used to make these projects in the description box below. Now I'm very excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my fantastic subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into these projects. Project number one is a set of modern plant holders. Now here is my inspiration photo for this project. Now these were listed for $79 and I thought these would be an awesome item to create from Dollar Tree items. Now for this project, we'll be using two of these hexagon containers from the Dollar Tree and two of these toilet plungers from the Dollar Tree. Now we're gonna start by removing that rubber end of both plungers and now we'll have two dowel rods. Now we're gonna cut this down to size in three pieces for legs that measure about five inches in length each. And then we're gonna cut one end of each leg at a slight angle with a miter box or a miter saw. Now I cut at about 15 degrees. And then once cut, we're gonna sand those down at each end to smooth out the edges. So I will be using these one inch wood screws to attach the legs and also these one eighth by three quarter inch washers. So we'll need to drill a pilot hole at the angled end of each leg. And here are all the holes drilled in the legs. So now we're gonna go ahead and paint those containers. Now I will be using this white chalk paint to paint the containers. Now I'm gonna start by adding two coats on the inside and letting them dry in between the coats. And then you wanna paint two coats on the outside. And to create texture, take a stiff bristle brush to create texture in that second coat while that paint is still wet. And then finally, you could paint the bottom and let them dry. So now that they are dry, we can prepare to add those legs. Now we're gonna be adding three legs per planter. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mark a location with a pencil um, about three quarter inches from the edge on three sides of that container. And then just take your drill and you wanna drill a hole at each one of those markings. And then you wanna assemble one of your screws with one of those washers and you wanna insert it into the drill hole inside that container. And then repeat with the remaining screws. And now we can start to attach the legs. So you wanna align that leg with one of those pilot holes in the leg and screw it into place with a screwdriver. Now you do wanna make sure that the leg angle is facing out as shown here. And then just add the remaining two legs. And now these are snug into place. Now you can use a permanent adhesive to attach these as well, but if you plan on placing something heavy in these, go with the screws, and that is it. 
And now all you have to do is add the greenery or florals of your choice and you have completed this look. Now I love clean and modern look of these planners and you can use these in different areas of your home in so many ways. Now I chose to leave the legs natural like my inspiration item, but they would be beautiful if they were stained. Now project number two is a modern farmhouse style tray. So here's my inspiration for the tray. Now I think this tray is absolutely gorgeous, but not quite worth the $46 listed price. So off to Dollar Tree, I go for supplies for this project. So I will be using one of these beach signs from the Dollar Tree and I'll also use two of these peel and stick wall tiles from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using one of those 98 cent wood strips from Lowe's that I've cut down to 13 and 3 quarter and 8 and 1 quarter with two pieces each. Now the first thing we want to do is to remove all the labels and the string from that sign. And then we're going to take our tiles and we're going to apply them to our board. Now to make sure that they're centered, I'm going to measure and mark the center of the board as a guide. And then just peel and apply one of those tiles to the board, making sure that there are no air bubbles. And then once in place, apply that second tile. Now once both are in place and they're all smoothed out, we can cut off that extra piece of tile hanging off the edge with an X-Acto knife. And now we are ready to add our paint. Now I will be using this pavement gray acrylic paint and some of this white acrylic paint. Now I'm going to blend them together until I get the shade of gray that I'm happy with. And once you have your chosen shade, you wanna apply this all over the tiles, even that exposed edge. and then sit this to the side to completely dry. So while that dries, we can work on the frame. So I'm gonna lay my frame out with the short piece in between the two longer pieces. Now before I adhere these together, I'm going to mark and drill holes for my handles that I picked up from the Habitat for 50 cents each. So I'll be using this hole marking tool that I had on hand to do this, but you can do this manually as well. Now once the holes are marked, just stack the pieces and drill the holes on those markings. And now we can move forward with reassembling our frame. Now I will be using this wood glue from the Dollar Tree to adhere these together. You want to apply the wood glue to each end of each one of the short pieces. And just apply them in place in between each long piece. Now to hold them in place while they dry, I'm using these pressure clamps. And once those are in place, you're just going to let this sit to cook, sit to dry. Now, after 
After a while, after the glue has taken hold, we're going to go ahead and loosen and slide those clamps over a few in inches and then secure back in place. I'm going to take these three quarter inch wire nails and I want to place two into each corner of my frame. Now one inch nails would work even better if you have those on hand. So I'm going to start by applying two nails in each corner of my frame. And once all of the nails are in and the frame is secure, you can go ahead and remove those clamps and we can move on to staining. So you want to protect your work surface and gather up your supplies. And I will be using, you guessed it, my favorite Jacobian stain by Minwax for the frame. Now just start to apply that stain all over your frame. And here it is all stained. Now I applied the clamps again so the frame could completely dry with a snug fit. And now that our painted tiles are dry, what we're gonna do is sand it down to get that distressed look of our inspiration piece. And once we finish distressing, we're gonna apply a coat of Mod Podge to seal everything in. and then let this dry completely. And now that it's dry, we can adhere it to the bottom of the frame. So we're gonna remove those clamps and I'm going to flip that frame upside down. And then I'm gonna lay that tile piece right on top. Now I'll be using those three quarter inch wire nails again all around the edges to secure the two pieces together. And here is everything secured together. And now I'm gonna sand the frame just a little bit to distress it. And then I'm gonna take some of this light acrylic paint and I'm gonna add random paint marks around the tray. And once that is dry, we can go ahead and sand and distress it for the paint to blend in to give it a weathered look. And now we can go ahead and apply our handles. And we just wanna secure these with the screws that came with them right into place through the holes we drilled. And here is the completed tray. And now that it is complete, you can place it on display. <laughs> I really love how this tray turned out. The details in these tiles is so great and I was so excited to find these at my Dollar Tree. Now, this tray would look great on a coffee table or vanity. There's just so many ways to use it. And I'm really happy about how the distressing looks and how much it really resembles the inspiration piece. You all have to let me know in the comments which one of these projects was your favorite today. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you subscribe by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe, and see you next time.